Katie says her boyfriend, Brandon, is a sex addict and addicted to porn. She has caught him sending provocative letters to other women, including her own mother. And now Katie believes he's been having sex with these women behind her back. But Brandon says he's not cheating. The letters were just sent for fun. All this and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. Yeah, I did try to sleep with your mother. But... Who haven't you tried to sleep with? You crossed the line. Can you try these out? The mother of your children might be the best looking woman we've ever had on the stage. What the hell are you doing? Her mom is very, very hot. Look at the woman that is standing in front of you. Why are you fantasizing about other women when you've got me? What's wrong with you? If you pass this lie detector test, everybody in this front row, catch me. Because <laughs> I'm going to pass out. How can you not know a woman you've been with for seven years? A grown man is telling me something. Because he want what you got. Of course he gonna lie to you. Don't come out here and try to make yourself a victim. Man. You the home? When do you ever be at home? How dare you look at that baby and say that baby might not be yours? For a man to tell you that I slept with him and all he brought me was a blunt? Stop it. You're gonna pass, right? That's right. Oh, man. Wait, wait a minute. Listen, bring him on here. Bring him on here and make him take the test. Is my son mine? Is that my son, Steve? I'm here because the father of my children that I've been with for four years now um, seems to have a problem with pornography. It's almost like he's addicted to it. He looks at it a lot? All the time. Yeah. And I also believe that he's addicted to sex. Yeah, a lot of guys have that problem. Right. Um, <laughs> right. When, you, when you say he's addicted to sex, what does that mean? It's not just with me, and that's why I'm here. Oh, okay. You know what I'm if saying? If it was just with you, you'd be okay with exactly. that. Exactly, exactly. But it's, he's wrote multiple women, multiple different letters. Um, he and, sent, and how do you know he sent these letters? Because they've all come out with it to me. Oh, they they've, said, hey, look at his letter. Yeah, they were, they're like, look. Your boyfriend is sending me messages, text messages, Facebook messages, whatever, and it's really offending me, and I want it to stop. So he's not actually writing letters. He's sending them text messages and emails. Besides my mom, he was writing her letters, but the rest he was, he was writing internet. your mom letters. He was writing my mother letters. Yes, yes. And what was, what did the letter say to your mom? Um, it said, "Let's make a deal. I'll give you three hundred dollars." All I want to do is be really hard for 30 minutes. That's what it said. But this is your own mom. Yeah, exactly. You, you're, now, do you have children with him? Two. You have two children yes. with him. So this isn't just a boyfriend. This is the father of your children. Exactly. And how old are your kids? Two, and my other daughter will be one in two days. OK. You can have a little birthday party? Yeah. OK. Um, so your mom gets the letter, and does she tell you about it? She tells me a year and a half later. A year and a half later? A year and a half later, yeah. Why did she wait to tell you? Um, Brandon had went to jail, and... And she waited was... a year and a half to show yes. you? Yes. So when she finally shows it, did you say, what the hell, why'd you wait so long? Yes, that's exactly what I said. And what did she this say? This was just like a month and a half ago, you know. It flipped a switch, obviously. <laughs> um, she obviously doesn't like Brandon. That's what she says. And she was like, look, let me give you a reason not to get back with Brandon. And she already saved the letter. She saved the letter. She did do that. And I already knew what she was going to do because like I said, I've had this problem with Brandon before, you know, with our prior neighbors and it's just, yeah. Now I guess he's told uh, you, my producers that these letters are just fun and he doesn't actually have sex with other women. Right, that's what, that's what he's saying. Okay. But I mean, he's trying, in these letters, he's begging them to have sex with him. Why are you here today? Like, he's going to take a lie detector test. Um, if he passes, obviously, he's just a freakazoid writing letters. But um, if he does fail, then what happens? If he does fail, I just want everything out. You know, I want to, it's driving me crazy. I mean, because. Would you stay with him if he failed? I honestly can't answer that question. Right. It would I be really a tough can't. decision. Because my daughter's birthday is in two days, right. you know. People cheat for a, a lot of different reasons. But, like, in your case, you're both 
really young, and let's face it, you're very attractive. How does that make you feel that, um, that he needs something outside of the relationship? It makes me feel about this big. I don't feel beautiful at all. Well, and that's, I stay with him four years through all this. Okay. Do you think more happened with your mom than just a letter? Because my problem with that is, why did she hold it a secret for a year and a half? She told me because my two-year-old daughter, you know, she's a great grandmother. And she told me she was scared to hurt me because in all of my prior relationships, they've always been mentally, and it's been mental and physical abuse. And she didn't want to see me hurt, you know. And whenever I come out with her about these other girls that I found out about, she still didn't mention anything to me. But I think she knew it would hurt worse you know, her being my mother, you know, and it but really she probably did. thought about like, wow, I don't want to hurt you, but a year and a half later, it's probably even going to hurt more. Yeah, that's exactly what I told her because I wouldn't even have had another child with Brandon if she would have just told me. Yeah, I did try to sleep with your mother. But... Who haven't you tried to sleep with? You've crossed the line. Yeah, I did try to sleep with your mother. But... Who haven't you tried to sleep with? You crossed the line. I know you have two children with him, but uh, even if he's actually not sleeping with them, it's very disrespectful to you, right? Right. Um, these women must be like, oh, look, her man wants me. Uh, and I gotta imagine if one of them said, oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take the $300 or I wanna hook up with you, that is he really gonna say, oh no, I was just kidding? No, he wouldn't. Right. He I would. Mean, I just thought he would be different and he's just a great per. He is a great person. He can be a great, loving, caring person. You know, he does When did it change him. in your relationship? Well, this is gonna make me sound pathetic, but really like instantly, you know, he cheated on me with his ex and it should have been a red flag there, but you know, I've been done so wrong in my life. It's just almost normal, if that makes sense, but. All right, well, let's meet the father of your children. So, uh, how long you been with uh, Brandon? Four years. Four years? Four years. Four yes. years. Let's, let's bring Brandon out. <laughs> constantly, every, if every day, you constantly, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and it, it's, it's nothing like that. Yeah, I did try to sleep with your mother, but... Who haven't you tried to sleep with? Okay. All a girl has to do is say hello. Hello. Write them a letter. That's oh. all they got to do is say hello, Brandon. Katie, I, I'm not like that anymore. You crossed the line. That's, you that's, crossed that's, the that's line. A, that's a year and a half ago. You How do I saying? know that was a year and a half ago? How do I know that was a year and a half ago? Can you, can you <laughs> That's a, that, that was a year and a half ago, and I mean, I, I, I want Okay, you... the better question is to you. What the hell are you doing? Uh, I mean, I mean, her mom is very, very hot. You know what I'm saying? She's a very... Look at the woman that yeah, is that, standing in front of you. That, that, I, she's very hot, too, but her mother... She's very hot, too? <laughs> It's okay, hot, you know, she I, I'm, her. Gonna, I'm gonna. I, I, I don't think I'm really stuck. Oh, your, your mom is kind of hot, huh? Yeah, she's not bad looking. Okay, but uh, we like we've almost done a thousand shows on this show. Okay, right. I don't think I'm stepping way out on a limb saying you're the mother of your children might be the best looking woman we've ever had on the stage. I and look at me. Yeah, I do know that I can't do any better than you. What's wrong with you? Here you've got uh, a beautiful woman, and not only beautiful, uh, she gives you two children. Yeah, she's a very good mother. Great mother. Great mother. So what is your problem? Uh, I mean, I, I was immature, you know, and... But you're not 19 years old anymore. Right, right, I know you're, that. You're 28 years old. Right, I know that. I was going through a lot when you done this to me, Brandon. I know that. It's like very, whenever I I'm get in my weakest point. I'm very point, sorry for doing that to you. My grandmother was dying of cancer, and you know how important she was to me. Nothing happened during that period. Did you That's sleep with her mom? That's when the letters was going no, on. No, no, no. You no, didn't sleep with no, her mom? No, no, Did you do anything with her mom? Oh, no, wait, no. that's whenever you were writing 
the neighbor, I'm sorry, my bad, when my grandmother was dying and I was going to visit her. You don't remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, you don't show her a lot of respect. Uh, you're running around. I mean, you know, you're hitting, you're sitting on her mother, offering her money like she's a prostitute. I mean, you know, that's, that's not just, oh, you know, you're attracted or you look at porn or, no, I mean, you're hitting on her own mother and you put it in writing. I mean, how dumb do you have to be? Uh. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you know, you, you probably should slow down on the looking at porn, uh, trying to hit on moms and all this stuff, and really pick up a newspaper, uh, stay at home, be more involved in your kids' lives. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I, not being facetious. I, I, That's I'm, what you should do. I'm a very good father, you know. Right. And but I, not I'm, very I'm good, with, not I'm a with, good, very good uh, but partner. But I'm the mother. I understand that. I know that. I am your daughter's mother. I understand that. You say these letters you write asking women for sex, what, what is the point of that? Uh, it's just fantasy. Fantasy. And what if these, but you're, you're not just doing it in your head. You're actually physically writing a letter and sending it to somebody. What if they say, yeah, let's do it? Uh. Why are you fantasizing about other women when you've got me? If you pass this lie detector test, everybody in this front row, catch me. How can you not know a woman you've been with for seven years? A grown man is telling me something. Because he want what you got. If you pass this lie detector test, everybody in this front row, catch me. So for the past four years, you've never been with anybody else but your, your partner here? Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. No, she, kn she knows, she knows. Think about it. She Think knows about, about the two times that I did cheat on her. With one girl, right? You, one is, girl. Your, is your tongue pierced? Yeah. Can you show everybody? <laughs> what made you do that? I'm just curious. Uh, I don't know. I was 15 years old and got it pierced. Oh, okay. Know? All right. <laughs> I mean, if you pass this lie detector test, no, everybody in this front row, be prepared. <laughs> Catch me. Because I'm going to pass out of shock. What if she wrote letters to guys? Hey, uh, why don't you come over and I'll give you 300 bucks to sleep with me for a half hour. How would you feel? Uh, think about, think about I mean, yourself. I mean, how would you feel? No, maybe yeah, maybe, maybe not, maybe feel, not that, but I mean, she has, she has wrote guys on Facebook. No, but. I have not. You're lying. Are you happy in this relationship? No. Yeah. I can't imagine anybody But I would. can't help how I feel. But I'm very, very, very miserable. Yeah. Even without these lie detector results, isn't all his behavior, all his actions, pointing to the fact that you just turn around and say, you know what, be good to your kids, help me support them, and then just like walk off right off the stage? What do you mean? <laughs> what I say with them? I'm saying I'd be like, you know what, I love you, but see you later. I want you to help take care of the kids. I want you to be in their lives. I want you to help me support them. But that's it, you're never gonna sleep with me again. And, and, if, and if that's what she chose- I don't wanna hear anything you have to say. And if that's, what she, if, that's what she, if that's what she chose to do, that's what we would do, you know? Do you need these? You need them. Obviously. Okay. Brandon came here and took a lie detector test. 
and we asked him, besides an ex-girlfriend while in a relationship, relationship with Katie, have you had any sexual contact with another woman? He answered no. Besides an ex-girlfriend while in a relationship with Katie, have you had any sexual intercourse with another woman? He answered no. Have you engaged in any type of sexual contact whatsoever with Katie's mom? He answered no. In the past year, have you sent pictures of your private area to any women? And you answered no. Right. I didn't even cover that in the show, but you say you didn't do that. Right. Okay. You answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is... I told you. You told the I truth. Tell you. Thank 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 you. We had to come on national and TV. Of okay. course. Okay. Would you believe okay. it? Okay. Would you believe it? Honestly? Okay. Nobody in the audience did. Okay. Okay. That's really, I, you know what? That's really nice that you passed this test. Thank you. It really is. But you, you know what this is? You know what that is? Paper. It's a piece of paper. And what does that piece of paper mean? <laughs> means nothing. Because even though you didn't act on it and you didn't actually sleep with anybody, if I did what you did, and I've been married for 13 years, if I did what you did, my wife wouldn't give me a choice. I'd be, she'd kick me out. She'd kick me out. But because, because even though you didn't cheat, you're still being disrespectful. Yes, you're, embar being disrespectful. you're embarrassing your, your wife. Yep. You're putting her mother in an awkward position yep. by writing her crazy That's letters. Yep. I want to hear. What's going to change now? What makes her stay on this stage and stay with you and not run out that door? Talk to her. Well, um, I mean, I mean, the past year I have been doing better, right? I can't answer that. You, you, you I had to find all this stuff out myself. I know, I know that, Katie. Myself. I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very sorry for trying you to everything. sleep with your mom. I'm very sorry for trying to sleep with this girl, that girl, this Another girl. Another family member. And I also want to say this. He might have passed that lie detector test. And, you know, I believe that he hasn't had sex with anybody. And I think part of it is because women have said no. Yeah. <laughs> This isn't a case he gets credit for not cheating. He tried to cheat in my book. Exactly. And in, I think in your book, too. He tried to. He wasn't successful. But if there was a woman that would say, yeah, I think he would have done it. Oh, I know uh, he would. Okay. Uh, no, I know no, he would. no, 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 no. Then no. why would you proposition them? Okay. Uh, just for fun, we know. We're fantasy. Just, yeah, fantasy. Fantasy. Why okay. are you fantasizing about other women when you've got me? <laughs> What are you going to do here? That's what I want to know. I don't want to live like this anymore. OK, so what are you going to do? I guess I'm just, I guess it's over. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. You're killing me. OK. You killed me. So I guess it's over. I don't, I don't want to leave me. Hold on, hold on. That was a nice show for you guys. Yeah. I mean, walking off the stage, it's over. But you know it's not over. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's not, not Come over. here. It's not over. Right. But if you really want to save that relationship, you stop doing what you're doing. Think about how lucky you to have a good woman like that, a good mom to your kids, a beautiful young lady. You should focus on all that attention you're showing all these other women. How about focusing it into her? And if you make her that happy, you're, you're going to really love life if you make that woman extremely happy. So go off this stage, focus on her, forget about all these other females, make the mother of your children the priority of your life. And you know what? She's going to take you back. But don't screw it up. Good luck to you. How can you not know a woman you've been with for seven years? A grown man is telling me something. Because he want what you got. Of course he gonna lie to you. You're gonna pass, right? That's right.
Oh, man. Wait, wait a minute. Listen, bring him on here. Bring him on here and make him take the test. You are the fire. Get off my stage. Six months into Dana's new relationship with Crosby, she cheated. And she swore she'd never do it again. But now, seven years later, Crosby doubts the paternity of their youngest child because he says he can't trust her. But Dana's friend Kelly has a different theory. She thinks Crosby is the one who's up to no good. Take a look. Me and my fiance have been together for about seven years. We've had our problems like most relationships do. A couple months ago, I found out that my fiance was, was dealing with someone that was close to the family. They were supposed to have had oral sex uh, during the period of time we were supposed to have been separated because we've been having problems in our relationship. When I found out, it, it hurt me. I was angry all at the same time. It, it really kind of made me feel like my life wasn't what I thought it was. Seems like she's distant, you know, when I go through her Facebook. Every time I check it out, there's a new guy trying to talk to her. Because of the, the, the infidelity, I'm not sure if my son is mine, my, my, my newest. He doesn't look like me. Her friend Kelly is accusing me of cheating and telling her that she should leave me and she shouldn't be with me because I'm probably one out here cheating. And her friend Kelly doesn't know me like that. There is no female I'm messing with. I work. You know, I, I run an entertainment company. I, I try to make the best living I can for my family. Sometimes I work late hours because I run my own business. I want to get to the bottom of everything. I want to know the truth. I want to know, did she actually form oral sex on this guy? I want to know if my son is actually mine or not. For him to say that I, you know, or even, even question that I would do perform oral sex on another man. I don't even do it to you. So how? Why? Oh, to him. I, I mean, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me clarify. Let me clarify. I don't even do it to him. Things are going so good for me right now. So what do I look like well. doing it to somebody right. else? You know so, what I'm saying? So now, when he says you did this, is this what he's talking about seven years ago, or is this something that happened recently? Well, in the beginning of our relationship. I wasn't ready for a relationship, and I told Crosby that, but he insisted that, you know, he say, look, you're who I want to be with, you know, either you're going to be with me or I'm going to go do my thing. And at the time, I wasn't ready for a relationship, but I didn't want him, you know, we, we were friends. We, we, had a, we had a friendship, you know, so I didn't want him to be with somebody else. So I said, okay, you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a do this. I'm going to be in a relationship. And yeah, I, I wasn't completely, you know, Faithful. Honest in the beginning, right. but after all that happened, I said, you know what? I saw how much that hurt him, and I didn't want him to feel like that. Like it hurt me to see him hurt like that, you know. So I said, okay, you know what? That happened. We're gonna go on. We're gonna live our life. We're gonna. We had kids. You know what I'm saying? And how many kids do you have? We have two. We have two. eight total, but we have two together. Two together. Yes. So, to me. You know what kind of person I am. You've been with me seven years. Like, how do you be with somebody that long and know what they're capable of doing and what they're not capable of doing? You know, so... And you're saying that whatever this person said, you didn't do it. Exactly. Like, it, it's not even my style. That's not even... Right. I don't... You know, that's... And, and, and now he doubts that the youngest child is his. Yes. I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, how could you even go there with that? And you know for sure that it's his child. Steve, listen. I know you probably heard this a million times, but I have, I don't have a doubt. There is no doubt in my mind that my, my son is his. Okay. Um, and since that time in the beginning of your relationship, you have not been unfaithful. No. Um, any, any chance that he's being unfaithful? He's in an entertainment business. So the Strip models, club, what is it? the females, He's he's a um, CEO of a music label, right? Okay. But so the, a lot of the models, young women, right? Yes, the, the 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 females, the models, you know. And sometimes I think he takes it overboard, you know. He he he'll say, um, "Oh, you're pretty," or "Oh, I love you," or you know something like that. But he'll say, "Oh, I didn't mean it like that," you know what I'm saying? But 
Come on, you've been with me seven years. You don't tell another female you love her. That's just not, you know, you don't right. do that. Um, do you think he's slept with somebody else? I don't know. I, don't, I, tr I, I love Crosby. I have loved him since the beginning. You know, Crosby loved me even when I didn't love me. So I have loved this man fr from the beginning. You know, it, 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 I'm sorry. Will you get her a tissue? Um, what if he fails? What would you, what would you do? I don't know. I, I, I honestly cannot honestly sit up here and tell you what I would, I, I would be hurt. It wouldn't be so I easy would, to say, okay, it's over. You have to think about what you're going to do. You know, I mean, you got, I feel you're like, raising a lot of kids together. You right. have two kids together. I mean, this is, this is something like that can't just. Uh, it depends on when it happened. It depends on how long it's been. You know what I'm saying? Was, like, right? yeah, because if he can take me back, I can take him back. Right. Let's bring out your man, Crosby. Hi, Steve. How you doing, Crosby? Why are we here, then? You tell me. You tell me. I want the truth. You know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm being told this. How I didn't just accuse you How can you not something. know a woman you've been with for seven years? So how can you not know As far as what, what I would know, of? you would never have another man to my house. I never thought you would do that. We were not together. We were not together. For all of two days. For all of two days, no, and we that's, still that's, live that's, together. Come on, come and we on. still live together. It was together. longer than that. It was longer than that. It was that. not longer was, than that, yes, and we was. still live together. Was. You said you had a guy over to the house. Are you saying? He was. He didn't come in my house. Okay. He, he came to my house, but right. he did not come in okay. my house. But he you invited him to our house. Our house. We were not together. I still live there. What was the point? You what have was... been there in two days. What? So how you live there? You you can't you 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 told me you were. You told me you was coming to get your stuff. You told me you didn't, you, 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 that our relationship was over. That is what you told me. What did you invite the guy over for? <sighs> you ever cheat on her? Early in our relationship. How about lately? No. Crosby took a lie detector test. Fail, fail, boo, fail. I'm worried now. You ever cheat on her? Early in our relationship. How about lately? No. Why did you invite the guy over? <sighs> I mean, two days isn't that long. We're he's like, out. he's like, well, oh, I know you smoke, so I'm gonna come over there and bring you some weed, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? So he he comes over, he he pressed me about bringing me a blunt. You know what I'm saying? You so can't I'm say like, no. I mean, what? You know me better than that. Yes. But I'm... for a man to tell you that I slept with him and or or I did I, I performed oral sex on him and all he brought me was a blunt. He didn't tell Stop me. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Like, he, come on. He, what are you? Are you crazy? He didn't tell me. He told. Okay. <laughs> um, you got to bring a lot more than a blunt. My, my point exactly. Okay. My point exactly. Okay. The fact that she says um, what this guy said that she did, that she doesn't even do that with you, doesn't. That, that ain't true. Oh, it's not true. That ain't true. <laughs> don't, don't. Keep it real. Keep it real. Look, look, look. Keep it real. I'm not. Keep it real because he complains about it all I the do time. Complain, all the time. But that doesn't mean so she don't do it. That doesn't mean she don't say, do it. I didn't say. It's not okay, her favorite let me, thing let me, to do. Let me, let me re, redo my words. It's I didn't her say favorite that it's not her I didn't favorite do thing it. To do. That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, I don't. But even if she did that, you doubt whether the child's yours? I mean, I could be wrong. I, 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 in my heart, yes. I, yeah, I, I, when, you I hold, my when you hold your son, right? Yeah. Is he your son? Yes. Okay. Do you believe that she uh, fooled around for a blunt? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to because in, in, I mean, my, in years, my heart, I don't she, think that's her. She makes a good point. I don't think that's her. You've been with her for seven years. Yes. She's been kind of uh, promiscuous in the past. 
She cheated on me early in our relationship. But that was very early. But since then, since then, you believe that she ever cheated on you? She ever, do any, she ever act sleazy, flirtatious? Well, th th there's been messages in her inbox from Facebook. Every time I go on Facebook, there was one But incident. do you have Facebook? Yes. You ever message another girl? Yes, but yeah. for business only. Oh, okay. For business only. You ever cheat on her? Early in our relationship. How about lately? No. You don't like with these hot chicks that you're meeting through your company? No. You no, know, I, they only want one thing. What do know? they want? Money. Yeah. Money. Money and... Money and fame. I have a family with her. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 do you we have a beautiful money? family. Do you give them money? Give who? Her money? No. The, the, no. the girls that I, I barely give her money. She'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I, take care, I, I take care of our family, right. so I do what I have to do. And, you know, if I, I got some extra, I give it to her, but I barely give her money. I got no time for nobody else. Right. So, so now, so you're pretty confident you're going to pass your line of talk. Yes. Pass. Now, your friend Kelly's here. Let's bring Kelly out. Don't come out here and try to make yourself the victim. Man, you You're not the victim. Up. You're not the victim. Dana is the victim. Dana is bag the victim. Up. He don't tell you, Steve. You don't know, you don't know nothing. Don't know. You don't know nothing. One o'clock in the morning, talking about Dana's a hoe. You the hoe? When do you ever be at home? You never be there. You don't even take care of your kids. How dare you look at that baby and say that baby might not be yours? All she do is take care of. You know, you don't know All nothing. All them kids. All them kids. You don't know nothing. All them kids. So you believe that Crosby is sleeping with other women? He is sleeping with other. Where you at? You don't never have no money. So what else is you doing? What else is you doing? Paying bills. What, what you doing? What bills do? you pay? Fuck you. What bills? What you pay? bills do I pay? What bills you pay? We, we he pays bills. Oh, Thank God. you. I, I can't touch her. But one day, one day when she was trying to break let's something. Let's leave it. Let's leave it up to the audience, okay? I, I want to uh, show hands. Who believes her? One guy was sticking his arm up and he pulled it back down. Only, only right, like four people. Who bus, believes her? Wow, 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 wow. Because I have no reason to lie. I definitely Who don't believes want him. Crosby? There you have it. You're the you're, you're, you got no votes. Because he always, can we get to the results so you can make a, a joke out of all these people, all these people that don't have no faith in me. Let me say this, I love Dana. I love Dana. Dana. I want to marry Dana. Okay. Dana. 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 A grown man is telling me something. You know, I don't have, he don't but have no reason to lie. A grown man that want what you got and mad because you got a family and you got somebody that care about you and you got somebody that got your back regardless because, because he want what you got. Of course he gonna lie to you. Wait, wait a minute, listen. Bring him on here. Bring him on here and make him take a test. Is my son mine? Is that my son, Steve? You are the car. Get off my stage. <laughs> Crosby took a lie detector test. Fail, fail, boo, fail. Thank you, boo. And we asked him in the last five years. Have you had sexual intercourse with any women besides Dana? He said no. And the results for Crosby's lie detector test is that he told the truth. time for the games. I'm, I'm worried about retirement. I'm worried about being successful. When you own your own business, you have to put in late hours sometime to be successful. And that's all I do. When I come home, I come home to my family. But don't, but don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't use that as 
an excuse to deal with other women. I, I don't want them. I want you. Uh, and, and you also told the truth, right? <laughs> oh, man, I'm so... That's I'm worried it. now. She's cheating. We asked uh, uh, Dana to take a lie detector test, and she confessed to having one night stand in August of 2013. You, you confessed to having a, a, a one night stand? That was I did. We wasn't together. When? We were August, not together. You kicked the door in when y'all wasn't together. You had a one night stand. We were not together. Who you had a one night stand? Nobody you know. Nobody you know. So. One night when you weren't together, you confessed to having a one-night stand approximately 32 days ago. Um, no, that wasn't 32 days ago. Well, that was in August. August. This is October. Okay. <laughs> you know, 30, I'm sorry, 42 days ago. <laughs> okay. But he didn't know about that, right? No, he didn't. Wow. That hurts him, right? Straight up. <laughs> okay. Together. But then we gave you, uh, we asked you, so after you did your confession, we asked you a couple questions. We asked you, other than what we discussed, since being in a relationship with Crosby, have you had sexual intercourse with any men besides him? You said no. Have you ever had any type of sexual contact with a family friend of Crosby's? I guess this is the guy that uh, we're talking about, Mr. Blunt. Um, you answered no to that question. And to both questions, the result came back the same. And they came back. She did back. not tell the truth. Serious? Come on. Are you serious? Wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't touch that man. What are you Ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I want to retake this. I want to retake it. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous because I did not touch that man. How many times I did not touch that him? man. How many times did we give it to you? Three times. <laughs> but I did not touch that man. That's bull crap. That is bull crap. She I did not touch that man. Today, you don't have to convince me. You know, uh, we're not going to be together. I swear to God on everything I love. I did not. All, the only thing that I did get was. Get, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did not touch that man. And that is the honest to God truth. I don't understand why. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what the on. Oh, I did not touch that man. There was no sexual contact, period. Let's go Bring him on here. Bring him on here and make him take a test. Bring him on here and make him take a test. Is my son mine? Is, is that my son, Steve? Is that my son? The fact that she did confess that she slept with somebody a little over a month ago that you didn't know about, what's your feeling on that, Crosby? I'm hurt, Steve. I, I, I go to work, Steve. This is ridiculous. I go to work. This, no. is, I'm, this, this, uh, this is freaking ridiculous. Like, come I, on. I go to work, Steve. Well, it's not ridiculous. I, I don't understand how, how... Well, when you don't tell the truth. No. I am telling the truth! Have uh, I had any, I mean, I mean, this, this is like, so, so basically, this, this thing saying I slept with two men, yeah. other than him. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Um, it says other than what we discussed, other than the, the guy you had a one night stand with, other than the guy that you cheated on with them in the beginning relationship. So I'm just, I'm just everybody, huh? What are, what are, Everybody. Uh, concerning the DNA test, uh, Crosby, you are the father. Of the DNA. Uh, you know, and the thing is, you see the yo-yoing of emotions of her. She's laughing. She's crying. She fails for, you know, cheating on him. 
Steve, my thing is, it's kids involved. Right. They still gonna be together, but regardless of who cheated on who. They still gonna be together. So, you know, take care of your kids. I'm gonna take care of my kids, Steve. Yeah, I understand that. And oh, that's nice. But are you gonna stay with her? I can't. I can't. Good luck, man. Thanks for coming on. We should have better results. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Nice meeting you.